Askende e bori baba. Le be se ke ye bebe. Rabuska le bori baba. Marabasha kantari baba. E braka sanda baba 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 baba. Powers of darkness, you cannot stop me. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus has already stopped you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rabashe ka le bori baba. Marobi na skanda baba baba le bori baba. Oba ka se ke le bori ya. Mariba ku skande le bobo bori ya. All the powers blocking my progress. Blocking my wife's progress. Blocking my children progress blocking the progress of my family my yamu kasa mercy sunday tekta born again car carrying for sure you are welcome in the name of jesus my laboshka say all those blocking my progress father like shaft before the wind blow them away Shehia Mole, you are welcome. Like chaff before the wind. Blow them away. 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 Yes. All those that are blocking my prosperity. All those also basse patience. Joseph, you are welcome. And keep on sharing. They cannot stop us. Hallelujah. Marie, I want you to pray for yourself. Say powers in my father's house. Blocking my prosperity, blocking my progress, Bro blocking my greatness like chaff before the wind. My father, my God, blow them away in the name of Jesus, like chaff before the wind. Father, blow them away, 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 father, blow them away. Send this, send this second part again to 30 people, send this, connect to 30 people. Everybody do a watch party. Everybody, yes, Masaka Tari Baba, share the page by the power. Keep on liking, keep on loving. The devil has lost the battle. Hallelujah. Masaka Tari Baba, We are going to pray that prayer again. They had that prayer, they got angry. Say, powers. Wicked powers of my father's house. Blocking my greatness, blocking my prosperity. Block, blocking my divine establishment, blocking my divine settlement. Yes, yes, like, oh Lord, my father, like chaff before the wind, blow them away by your power in the name of Jesus, like chaff before the wind, blow them away by your power in the name of Jesus, like chaff before the wind, father, blow them away, 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 father, blow them away. That was the prayer they had that they got angry. The, the fire of God will blow them away. The white wind of God will blow them away. Somebody say, whether they like it or not, you are moving forward by fire. You are moving forward by fire. You are moving forward by fire. You are moving. Yet they even follow you to this prayer meeting. The fire of God will behead them. The fire of God, the thunder of God will cut off their neck. The thunder of God will cut off their neck. Every power that is blocking, you are moving forward. Every power that is blocking the agenda of God for your life. Like chaff before the wind. The thunder fire of God will blow them away in the name of Jesus. The thunder fire of the living God. Favor, favor. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. The thunder fire of the living God will blow them away. Your life is moving forward. Make sure you are fasting. We are in 70 days of fasting and prayers. Make sure. I want this same, this one now. Invite, invite 30 people. You know, you know, we have gone to second part now. Invite 30 people. Connect to 30 people. Keep on sharing. Hallelujah. The devil is a liar. He has lost the battle by the power in the blood of Jesus. Somebody is here. <laughs> I see you swearing like an ego by the power in the blood of Jesus because the blockages in your life and in your life has just been removed by the power in the blood of Jesus. The blockages in your life has just been removed by the power in the blood of Jesus. The blockages in your life has just been removed by the power in the blood of Osaro Osage. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Yes, the blockages as to pray that prayer. Hallelujah. That oh Lord, Nancy Monse, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. Every blockage in my life, every power, every power that is head bent on blocking what God is doing in my life. Oh Lord, my father, like chaff before the wind. Blow them away, 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 blow them away. For in Jesus' name we pray. That's why we are going to move forward. Yes, like a troop of darkness, they blocked your way. Hallelujah. Like a wall of Jericho, they blocked your way. But I see the power of God.
scattering them. I see the fire of the Most High. I didn't even say them. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. I see the fire of the Most High God scattering. You know, this this memory. Amen. Scattering them. Hallelujah. I shall repeat the prayer. Amen. Say powers blocking my progress in life. Powers blocking my greatness in life. Powers blocking my promotion in life. Like chaff before the wind. Oh Lord, blow them away. Alasa Farouk this month, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. Like chaff before the wind. Father, blow them away. Father, blow them away. Father, blow them away. Yes, like chaff before tornado. Like chaff before hurricane. Father, blow them away by your mighty power. Blow them away by your mighty Yes, I pray for somebody here. All the witches and wizards, occultic powers, marine powers, serpentine powers, amen, idol worshippers that are blocking your way, the tornado of God, the hurricane of God, the tsunami of God, the white wind of God shall blow them away in the name of Jesus. Shall blow them away in the name of Jesus. Shall blow them away in the name of Jesus. Shall blow them away in the name of Jesus. Shall blow them away by the power in the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for that prayer. Say, pray the next prayer. Say, powers that have labored me as a forgotten vessel. Hey, Daddy Kasali, Samuel, you are welcome, sir. Powers that have labored me as a forgotten vessel shall come back to celebrate me by the power in the blood of Jesus. Ah, that's a very prophetic prayer. Say, powers that have labored me, that have labored my wife, that have labored my children as forgotten vessels shall come back to celebrate us by the power in the blood of Jesus shall come back to celebrate me. I.G. or more from, from one. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Every power that has labeled me as forgotten, that has labeled my wife as forgotten, that has labeled my children as forgotten, that has labeled my family as forgotten, are coming back to celebrate me and my family by the power in the blood of Jesus. They are coming back to celebrate me and my family by the power in the blood of Jesus. Hey, sister is here. You are even carrying the label. Chibi, Obi, Cecilia, Younger, Kume, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. Rehima, Rehima, you are welcome. Keep on sharing. Keep on sharing. Bless somebody's life with this prayer meeting. Bless somebody. At least I invite 30 people. Connect to 30 people. Hallelujah. Amen. Christy, Ejetabu, God bless you in the name of God. You are going to pray. They have labeled you. They put a label on your head. A label that forgotten. Maraba, Rhino, Sino. I'm looking at somebody right now. I'm looking at the label. Every label that is saying you are forgotten. I set it on fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every, every label of darkness that is advertising you as forgotten. I set it on fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every label of darkness that is advertising you as forgotten. I set it on fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. I set it on fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. I set it on fire by the power in the blood. You cannot be forgotten. Chichi Obi, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. You shall not be forgotten. Every wishcraft power, every house of wickedness that wants you to be forgotten shall perish by fire. Shall perish by fire. Shall perish by fire. Rebecca, Anita, Sama, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. George, you are welcome. Every power in your father's house, in your mother's house, in your in-law's house, in your place of birth, Amen. In any water, in any rock, in any forest that wants you to be forgotten shall perish by fire in the name of Jesus. Shall perish by fire in the name of Jesus. Shall perish by fire in the name of Jesus. Shall perish by fire in the name of Jesus. Shall I want you to connect to 30 people. Each person in this prayer meeting, I want you to connect to 30 people. This is a prophetic meeting. Enando, Lima, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. Powers in your father's house that wants you to be forgotten. That don't want your name to come to lamblight shall perish by fire. It goes out, comments, you are welcome. They shall perish by fire. They shall perish by fire. They are working very hard. God is promoting you. 
but they want to demote you. God is bringing you up, but they want to hide you. Every power that wants to hide your glory shall fall down and die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every power that wants to hide your glory shall fall down and die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every power that wants to hide your glory shall fall down and die. Talk. Salem, Salem, Mende. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Forgive me if I cannot, if I cannot pronounce that name very well, but Jehovah knows you. Amen. Powers that want to hide you. Powers that want to bury what God is doing in your life. They shall be buried. They shall be buried. They shall be buried. Angela Samples. God bless you, man. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Powers that want to bury what God is doing in your life. That wants to bury what God is doing in your wife's life. That want, that wants to bury. Get Lewis. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Powers that want to bury what God is doing in your life, in your spouse, in your children shall die by fire. 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 Remember, according to the word of God, Ephesians six, chapter six, verse twelve, that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness, very wicked spirits in high places. So we are praying against powers, principalities, rulers of darkness. We are praying against very wicked spirits in high places. So when you hear the powers of your father's house, remember, we are saying the powers are not the human beings. Hallelujah. Somebody is here, you are going to pray it again. Say, powers in my father's house. That wants to bury what God is doing in my life. Teta, born again car, you are welcome. Powers in my father's house. That wants to bury what God is doing in my life. That wants to bury what Jehovah is doing in my life. Anna Odige, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. Powers that want to bury what Jehovah is doing in my life. You are a liar. Die by fire. 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 In the name of Jesus, somebody says, I want you to pray for your daughter. You have a daughter, a wonderful daughter. In fact, that daughter, <laughs> where that daughter will reach in this life, I'm hearing, I can see that daughter right now. Where that daughter is going to reach in life, nobody, including you, the mother, has ever been there. That daughter is your flagship. That daughter is your flagship. I want you to pray like this. Any power in my foundation, that wants to bury the glory of my daughter. Any power in my foundation that wants to bury the glory of my daughter. You are a liar. That, 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 in the name of Jesus. I remember there was a story in the news. When President Obama was president, a lady said she was supposed to be a roommate to Michelle Obama. But her own mother disagreed. Didn't allow her to be in the same room with then student Michelle Obama. But in the future, Michelle Obama, a man, became the first lady of America. Which means that girl, by virtue of being in the same room with her, they would have been very close friends. She would have been the, first, the friend of the first lady. But the mother denied her of that glory. You are going to pray like this. Say, powers! Deny my children of their glory. Powers! Deny my children of their glory. Hear the judgment of the Lord. Die by fire. 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 In the name of Sebastian. Thank you. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. I pray for a mother right now. I pray for a mother right now. Every power. Every witchcraft power, every occultic power, every marine power, every serpentine power, every power of idols that is denying your daughter, that is denying your son 
of their glory. Let them perish by fire. 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 Let them perish. It is fire for fire. If you don't pray, if you don't pray, love David. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Keep on sharing. Once you join this prayer meeting, make sure you invite 30 people to this prayer meeting. 30. Connect to 30 people. Share with 30 people. Do a watch party. At least each person should do a watch party. Let everybody come and pray. We are not looking for numbers. We are looking for people whose destinies will be transformed. Hallelujah. Let's go to the next prayer. Amen. But I say pray for somebody here. Every power that wants you to be forgotten shall, shall be wasted by thunder in the name of Jesus. You see, look at what they wanted to do to Joseph. They wanted him to be forgotten. His father sold him coat of many colors. His father started celebrating him. Knowing the kind of child he's going to become. His own brothers wanted Joseph to be forgotten. You know, the first thing they did was to throw him into a dry well. They wanted him to die in that dry well. Somebody said they have thrown him into the dry well. Every power, Karen, Mtonga, every power that wants you to die in the dry well of life shall be wasted by thunder in the name of Jesus. Every power that wants you to die in the dry well of life, they shall be wasted by thunder. I want you to pray that prayer for yourself. Say, any power that wants me, my wife and my children, to die in the dry well of life, in the dry pit of life, you are a liar. Fall down and die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Fall down and die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Fall down and die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Somebody is looking at me right now. Household wickedness has thrown you into the dry well of life. Loretta, Mabinti, Sila, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. But today, I withdraw you from the dry well of life by the power in the blood of Jesus. I withdraw you from the dry well of life by the power in the blood of Jesus. Your life will no longer go through dryness by the power in the blood of Jesus. I recover you from the dry well of life by the power in the blood of Jesus. I recover your life. I recover your destiny from the dry well of life. That is why everything is dry in your life because you are in the dry well. They threw Joseph into the dry well. They wanted him to be forgotten forever. But one of the brothers came and said, no, 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 don't let us kill him here. Let us sell him into slavery where he will be forgotten forever. Ah, I pray for somebody again. Every power that wants you to be forgotten forever shall be buried in the grave of fire. In the name of Jesus, Obi go, Obi go, O oh, Amen. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Every power that wants you to die in the dry well of life, that wants you to be forgotten forever, they shall be buried in the tomb of fire. They shall be buried in the tomb of fire. They shall be buried in the tomb of fire. They shall be buried in the tomb of fire. In the name of Jesus, and you shall not be forgotten. You shall not be forgotten. Prophetically, I revive your destiny. Prophetically, I revive your destiny by the power in the blood. There is a brother here. I revive your destiny by the power in the blood because they are buried the destiny. They have thrown the destiny. Yaminkane Mulue, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. I recover your destiny from where they buried it by the power in the blood of Jesus. You can see the wickedness. When you see human beings and people are struggling, people are working very hard. But nothing is working. That's what is going on. In the spirit realm, they have thrown them into the dry well of life. In the spirit realm, they have sold them into slavery. A lot of people are slaves in the spirit realm. Ah, somebody is looking at me right now. I pray for you. The power in the blood of Jesus will deliver you from spiritual slavery. In the mighty name of Jesus, the power in the blood of Jesus will deliver you from spiritual slavery. In the name of Jesus, the power 
in the blood of Jesus will deliver you, deliver your family, deliver your household from spiritual slavery in the name of Jesus. That's why life is tough. You are living like a slave. They want you to be forgotten. All the witches that did this work, all the witches that gather together to sell you into spiritual slavery, they will fall down and die one by one by the power in the blood of the Why? Because the Bible says, suffer the witches not to live. Yes, there's a personality, somebody's here, there's a personality in your mother's house that don't, they don't even want your name to be had. Every power that says your name will not be had. They shall fall down and die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every power that has vowed that your name will not be had shall fall down and die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every power that has vowed that your name will not be had. Every covenant of which are powers that said your name will not be had. They shall scatter by thunder. They shall scatter by thunder. They shall scatter by thunder in the name of Jesus. So when we talk about evil power, what do you think? In Psalm 74. Psalm 74. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So, in Google, you are welcome in Jesus. Psalm 74, verse 20. The Bible says, have respect for the covenant. What does that mean? Obey the word of God. Obey the instructions of God. Obey the commandment of God. Why? Because the dark places of this earth, the dark places of this earth, they are filled with the habitation of cruelty, the habitation of wickedness. Kingsley Ken, you are welcome in the name of that's why you cannot afford to be living in sin. Have respect for the covenant. Psalm 74, verse 20. If you don't have respect for the covenant of God, if you are violating the instructions of God, you are disobeying the rules of God. Hey! Those that dwell in the habitation of quality, they will deal with you. They will deal with you. It's what I've seen for over 30 years. They will deal with you ruthlessly. Hallelujah. Let's go to the next prayer. Say, powers of bad luck. I am not your victim. Clear away from my life in the name of Jesus. Powers of ba bad luck. I, my wife, and my children, we are not your victim. Clear away from our lives by the power in the blood of Jesus. Powers of bad luck. Clear away from my life. Clear away from my wife's life. Clear away from my children's lives by the power in the blood of Jesus. Austin Kenneth, you are welcome. Some people, everywhere they go is bad luck. Everywhere they go is bad luck. Are you the one? Everywhere you go, Osasu or Susan, you are welcome. Everywhere you go is bad luck. Bad, bad luck. Today, today, every covenant of bad luck, every label of bad luck, every curse of bad luck upon your life is destroyed by the power in the blood of Jesus. Is destroyed by the power in the blood of Jesus. No, anywhere you go from today, it is going to be good luck, not bad luck. In the name of Jesus, it is good luck, not bad luck, by the power. In the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Which reminds me of one Nigerian president whose name was Good Luck. Always getting what he didn't ask for. <laughs> he didn't ask for governor, he became governor. He didn't ask for president, he became president. He even told us he didn't ask for the school prefect of his secondary school. They made him one. Hey! Somebody say, you better shout. Say, Good Luck! Good Overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Arise your power. Overshadow my life. Overshadow my wife's life. Overshadow my children's lives by the power in the blood of Jesus. You are here. Your story has been bad luck. From today, prophetically, it is reversed. It is changed by the power in the blood of Jesus. Whenever you go anywhere, whenever you do anything, Favor, good luck, mercy. We accompany you. We work for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Next prayer. Oh God of glory, arise 
and bring forth my glory in the name of Jesus. O God of glory, O God of glory, O God of glory, arise and bring forth my glory and bring forth my wife's glory and bring forth my children's glory and bring forth the glory of my family in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say you are a glorious child. You can see. From your journey, you can see you are a glorious child. It's tough, it's rough, but things are always coming for you. I want to tell you today, stop sinning. Dedicate your life to Jesus. The reason why you are not supposed to suffer at all. You are a rich, very rich man, very rich woman, very wealthy man, very wealthy woman. Things work for you without you asking. But you are using sin to destroy it. You are using pollution, defilement to destroy it. You are, you, are, you, are, you are a favorite child of God. You are special. Even with the sin you are committing, God is still doing small, small things now. But he wants to do mighty things. And he said, I should tell you, stop sinning. Stop polluting your body. Stop defiling your body. He said, give yourself to me and see what I'm going to do in your life. He said, I'm Jesus, son of the living God. Surrender yourself to me and see what will happen in your life. If I will not take you to the very mountain top of life. Hallelujah. Let's pray the next one. Oh God, my shield, arise and protect me with your edge of fire. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, my shield, arise and protect me with your edge of fire. Arise, arise and protect my wife, protect my children, protect my, my family, my parents, my siblings with your edge of fire. Arise and protect my calling, my ministry, my job, my business, my career, my finance, my health, my wealth, well, yes, my finances with your edge of fire. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, my shield, arise and protect me, my family, protect even my descendants with your edge of fire, with your edge of fire, with your edge of fire, with your edge of fire. In the name of Jesus. If the Lord is protecting you with his edge of fire, tell me the power that can touch you. Rahul Prajapasti. God bless you in the name of Jesus. You are welcome. Thank you for joining this prayer meeting. I believe that's all the way, all the way from India. God bless you in the name of... When, when the Lord is a shield around you, when the Lord is a wall of fire, as mountains surround Jerusalem, God surrounds you with his head of fire. Tell me the power that can touch you. Well, you see, by yourself, you run out of the head of fire. By yourself, you run out of the protective power of God by sinning. In Job chapter 2 from verse 1, the Bible says, when the sons of God were gathered together to present themselves before God, God himself asked Satan, where have you been? He said, I've been going to and fro, the surface of the earth. He asked him, have you considered my servant Job? Have you been to his house? Ah, uh, he said, I've been there, even not for your age. Ah, uh, somebody is here. Let the edge of fire be erected around you in this meeting. In the name of Jesus, from today, let the edge of fire be erected around you. In the name of Jesus, let the edge of fire be erected around you. In the name of Jesus, the edge of fire that witches and wizards cannot penetrate, that occultic powers, that marine powers, that serpentine powers, that idol powers cannot penetrate. Let it erect around you now. Edge of fire, erect, 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 edge of fire, erect. You need the edge of fire. Oh Lord, my shield. Hallelujah. Arise and protect me with your edge of fire. So shall it be for you, for me, for your family, for my family. In the mighty name of the, especially in this wicked world. And your faith, Jesus, God bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's go to the next prayer. Amen. Say, oh Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh Lord, my glory. Bring forth my glory in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my glory. Bring forth my glory. In the, let's go to the next one. Now. Oh Lord, you are the lifter of my head. 
lift up my head by fire in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, I want you to touch your head. Oh Lord, my Father, you are the lifter of my head. Lift up my head by fire. Lift up my wife's head by fire. Lift up my children's heads by fire in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, you are the lifter of our heads. Lift up my head. Lift up my wife's head. Lift up my children's head by fire. 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 Fire, my head needs lifting. My head lift, needs lifting. My wife said, My children said, Needs lifting. Oh God, my father, you are the glory and the lift of our head. Father, lift up our heads by your mighty power in this land. My Lord and my father, lift up my head in this land of America. Lift up my head. Lift up my wife said, Lift up my children said, By your mighty power in the name of Jesus. And God is lifting up your head. Who can stop your promotion? When God was lifting the head of Joseph, who could stop his promotion? Who? Not even Potiphar's wife. That came with alleged allegation of rape. Not even the prison yard could stop Joseph. Ah! Oh Lord, my father. You are the lifter of my head. Lift up my head by fire. In the name of Jesus. Lift up my head by fire. In the name of Jesus. Lift up my wife's head by fire. Lift up my children's head by fire. In the name of Jesus. You are the lifter of head. Lifter of head. Lift up my head by your power. In the name of Jesus. Your head shall be lifted up. And all the forces of darkness that are sitting on your head shall be unseated by fire. They 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 shall be un- they, all those powers that don't want your head to be lifted up, they will somersault and die. For Stina and Ponza, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. All the powers sitting on your head that don't want your head to be lifted up, they shall somersault and die. By the power in the blood of Jesus, they shall somersault and die. By the power. Then they, I want you to pray that prayer for yourself. All the powers sitting on my head, that do not want me to lift up my head. All the powers sitting on my wife's head, sitting on my children's head, that do not want them to lift up their heads. Hear the judgment of the Lord. Some must not and die. By the power in the blood of Jesus, some must not and die. By the power in the blood of Jesus, some must not and die. By the power in the blood, some must not die. 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 In the name of Jesus. Charity is it, Kelly? You are welcome in the name of Jesus. They are sitting on your head. They are sitting on your head. But all the power sitting on your head, whether they are witch or wizard, or cultic marine serpentine idol, Maraba Shikali Bokuria, Rehima Sandi, you are welcome. They shall somersault and die. By the power in the blood of the they will somersault, they will die. They will somersault, they will die. They will somersault, they, they will die. They will somersault, they will die. They will somersault, they will die. By the power. In the blood of, and your head shall be lifted. Your head shall be lifted by the power of prophecy. I prophesy this your head that they have refused to be lifted shall be lifted by fire, shall be lifted by fire, shall be lifted by fire. The blood of Jesus will rescue and deliver your head in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every covenant that will not favor me. They consume by fire in the name of Jesus. Every covenant that will not favor me, that will not favor my wife, that will not favor my children, be consumed by fire, be consumed by fire, be consumed by fire, be consumed by fire. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Any covenant in my father's house, any covenant in my mother's house, any covenant in my in law's house, any covenant in my place of birth that does not favor me, that does not favor my wife, that does not favor my children, they consume by fire in the name of Jesus. Be consumed by fire. In the name of Jesus. Be consumed by fire. In the name of Jesus. I'm asking you to pray now. Some people in their father's house, it is the covenant of poverty that is fighting them. The idol that we are rank, that is what they worship. When, when in your father's house, they are worshipping the idol of rags, they are, you will not believe this. It is happening, beloved. The idol of rags. Rags. How can somebody go and carry of all the idols in this world? The one that will make them rags, make them wear rags. That's what they will go and worship. That's why I say you should pray. Every covenant in your father's house that does not favor you, let the fire of God destroy them now 
in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of God, the covenant that is always putting you in debt, the covenant that is destroying your credit, let the fire of God destroy it now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, you think that everybody is blaming you. You don't know how to manage money. You are, you are a waster. You are, and they don't know. It is a spiritual thing. You try to keep your money. You try to keep your credit. But they always destroy it. You are looking at me right now. The idol that they are worshipping your father's house. The idol of poverty shall catch fire. 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 Yes, I pray for a particular sister here. And two brothers. A sister and two brothers. The idol in your father's house. That is making you to have bad credit. I set it on fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. I set it on fire by the power in the blood of Why? I will tell you why. They, they, they want to destroy your credit so that you cannot get anything meaningful in life. So that you cannot buy a house. So that you cannot buy a car. So that you cannot do good things in life. You want to do business. You need credit. You see? You see the way they make people poor? Eh? They will go and attack your credit. So that you cannot have any credit facility. So that you cannot do anything tangible in your life. They shall perish by fire. They, in fact, I am angry in my spirit. A brother, a, a, two brothers and a sister. You are looking at me right now. Every power that attacking your credit shall perish by fire. The idol of your father is the idol. An idol your father's house. Two of, three of you. The idol your father's house is attacking your credit. Because they vow that nobody will become rich in your father's house. Those idols shall perish by fire in the name of Jesus. Those idols shall perish by fire in the name of Jesus. The idol of rags. Oluwashe, Olufomi, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. Every idol in your father's house that wants you to wear rags shall catch fire and burn to ashes in the name of Jesus. Every idol in your father's house that wants you to wear rags shall catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every idol, pray for yourself, oh. every idol in my father's house that wants me to wear rags shall catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every idol in my father's house, every idol in my mother's house, every idol in my, in my in-laws house, every idol in my place of birth that wants me, my wife and my children to wear rags, catch fire, burn to ashes by the power in the blood of Jesus. Catch fire, burn to ashes by the power in the blood of Jesus. Sometimes you don't know what you are fighting against. You think you are lazy. You think it's because you are not working hard. Meanwhile, those that are not even working half hard as much as we do, they are, they are making it. They are breaking through. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead. Amen. Every territorial oppressor be exposed and be disgraced out of my environment in the name of Jesus. Every territorial oppressor be exposed and be disgraced out of my environment by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every territorial oppressor, amen, amen. Every territorial oppressor be exposed and be disgraced out of my environment by the power in the blood of Jesus. Because sometimes the environment where you are living, all these terrible powers may be there. Their altars may be there. And whatever they do in that environment affects everybody that is living there. If Jesus is not very strong in your life. A lot of people have made mistakes. They relocated to places amen, where their destiny was ruined. You don't know. You relocate to a place. Before a few weeks, few months, you lost your job. Some people will lose their wife. They will, lose, they will lose their wife. They will lose their husband. They will lose a child. When they relocate to a particular environment and they still don't know that something is wrong with that environment. And I'm going to pray that prayer again. Every territorial oppressor be exposed and be disgraced out of my environment by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every territorial oppressor be exposed and be disgraced. If I catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Aja, Kane, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. Make sure you are sharing this prayer meeting. Invite 30 people. Invite 30 people. Keep on liking, keep on loving the page. And the Lord will bless you as you do so. In the mighty name of Jesus. Arrows of the Lord. Arise and shake my territory to its foundations. In the name of Jesus. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Of the Lord, 
Arise and shake my territory to its foundations in the name of Jesus. Arrows of the Lord, arise in your power. Shake my territory, shake my environment, shake my neighborhood. Yes, to his foundations in the name of Jesus. Arrows of the Lord, arrows of fire, arrows of the Lord, arrows of fire, arrows of the Lord, arrows of fire. Locate my environment, locate my territory, locate my neighborhood, and shake it to his foundation. Shake it to his foundation. Scatter every altar of darkness. 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 In the name of Jesus. Yes, you need to send the arrow of fire into your environment so that every activity of darkness in there can scatter. Can be, can, be, can, can be cut down. Hallelujah. The Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray the next prayer. Oh God, arise and protect me and my family from collective calamities in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, arise in your power. Protect me and my family from collective calamities in the name of in the name of Jesus, excuse me. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, my Father, arise in your power. Protect me. Protect my wife. Protect my children. Protect my family from collective calamities. In the name of Jesus, even as we approach the month of December or November, December, as we approach the end of the year, oh Lord, my Father, arise in your power. Mashud, la busy. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh Lord, my Father, arise in your power. Protect me and my family from collective calamities in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my Father, protect me, protect my wife, protect my children, protect my home from collective calamities even as we approach the end of the year in the name of Jesus. Somebody say, I pray for you. The accident that they have planned for you, the accident they planned for you shall backfire. In the name of Jesus. The calamity they plan for you shall backfire. In the mighty name of Jesus. The disaster they plan for you shall backfire. In the name of Jesus. Those that want you dead before the end of this year, you will attend their funeral. In the mighty name of Jesus. All those that want you dead before the end of this year, you shall attend their burial. You will be there to pour sand on their coffin. In the mighty name of Jesus. All those that want you dead before the end of the year, you will attend their burial by the power in the blood of Jesus. Because the arrow of death that they have fired against you shall backfire. It shall backfire. It shall backfire. It shall backfire. In the name of Jesus, pray for yourself. Say, all those that want me dead before the end of this year, I shall attend their burial by the power in the blood of Jesus. I will be among those that will pour sand on their coffin. In the mighty name of Jesus, all those that want me dead, that want my wife dead, that want my children dead, that want my parents dead, that want my siblings dead, before the end of this year, my Father, my God, we shall attend their burial by the power in the blood of Jesus. We shall attend their burial by the power in the blood of Jesus. So, oh Lord, my Father, protect me and my family from collective calamity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are still praying. Any power from the dark world bringing unrest to my community be consumed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Any power from the dark world that is bringing unrest to my community be consumed by fire in the name of Jesus. All they want is flesh and blood. They just want people to die so that they can eat their flesh, so that they can drink their blood. That is why they are bringing trouble into your community. That is why they are bringing, you know, trouble into your environment. Doris, Koroma, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. You are going to pray. Any power from the dark world, any power from the dark world that is bringing unrest, that is bringing trouble, that is bringing war, to my community, be consumed by fire, be consumed by fire, be consumed by fire. We pray for America, especially as we approach November 3rd. Any power from the dark world that is bringing war, that is bringing unrest, that is bringing trouble, yes, that is bringing problems to America because of this election. Oh Lord, my Father, let your fire consume them. 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 Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are an intercessor. Join us as. God bless you. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray. Amen. Say, my name. Hear the word of the Lord. Jump out of every evil register. In the mighty name of Jesus. My name. My name. My name. Hear the word of the Lord. Jump out from every evil register. 
in the name of Jesus, my wife's name, my children's names, hear the word of the Lord. Jump out from every evil register in the name of Jesus. Jump out, 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 jump out in the name of Jesus. My name, my wife's name, my children's names, my parents' names, my siblings' names. Yes, hear the word of the Lord. Jump out from every evil register by the power in the blood of Jesus. Jump out from every evil register by the power in the blood of Jesus. Jump out from every evil register by the power in the blood of Jesus. I pray for somebody here. The evil register that is carrying your name, I set it on fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. Yes, they have written your name in the register of those that will never get married. I set that register on fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. Mary, or, or same way, or same way, or same way, again. you are welcome in the name of Jesus. Yes, they have written your name in the register of those that will never get married, uh, in the register of those that will never get a good career, the, in the register of those that will never get a good job, in the register of those that will continue to have financial crisis. I set that register on fire by the power and the blood of Jesus. I set that register on fire. I burn it to ashes by the power in the blood of Jesus. For in Jesus' name, we are praying. <laughs> Beloved, we are praying. Hallelujah. We are going to pray the next prayer. Every ladder of darkness assigned to waste my life, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every ladder of darkness assigned to waste my life, assigned to waste my wife's life, assigned to waste my children's lives. I set on fire, catch fire, burn to ashes, catch fire, burn to ashes, catch fire, burn to ashes, catch fire. For in Jesus' name we pray. What is ladder of darkness? Sin. Disobedience. Transgression. Iniquity. There are ladders of darkness. Amen. When men and women begin to climb them, to climb those ladders, it is to waste their lives. A man or woman that is from den of witches and wizards, that is committing fornication and adultery, is he not dead already? Is he not wasted already? Your father's house. There are more witches there. There are more wizards there than normal human beings. Than Christians. Meanwhile, you know all this and you are still committing adultery. You are committing immorality. You are dead. Every ladder of darkness assigned to waste my life, catch fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. You better open your mouth and pray that prayer. Because sometimes, the sin you are committing is not ordinary. They are pushing you. There is a force that is pushing you. A witchcraft force that is pushing you to go and commit sin so that they can finish you. So that they can destroy you. Every ladder of darkness in my life assigned to waste my life. Catch fire. 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 In the name of Jesus, I pray for somebody here. You want to live a holy life, but it is difficult. I'm revealing the secret to you now. Witches are behind it. It's some witches in your father's house that are making you to commit immorality. Even you yourself, you cry sometimes. The women you sleep with, you yourself, you will say, how can I sleep with this kind of a woman? What is wrong with me? It is not you. They are pushing you. So in order to defile yourself, that is the ladder of darkness. I command that ladder to catch fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. The ladder of darkness that is assigned to waste your life, to waste your destiny. I set it on fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. I set it on fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. Everybody is healing you. They say, ah, ah, you are very strong. Bro. You are very strong. Oga, rad one sick, one ski. You are welcome. You are very strong. You get all the beautiful women around here, not knowing that some of the women you are carrying, they are from the ocean. <laughs> they are from the sea. They have been programmed to finish you. Some of the men you are running after have been programmed to waste your life, to bury your glory. But every ladder of darkness that they are planted in your life that is giving access to this power I set it on fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. I set it on fire by the power in the... There's a sister here! Send me a text after. There's something about you. 
whenever that thing starts until you sleep, sleep with three men, you will not stop. You are listening to me now. There's something that comes upon you. If you don't sleep with three men, minimum three men, you will not stop. You are looking at me right now. Send me a text. You need thorough personal deliverance. When that thing comes upon you, I say the antidote minimum is three men. If you don't have sex with three men, it will not stop. They have destroyed you already. Stanley, Ojelua, you are welcome. They have destroyed you already. That's why your life has not progressed. And you see, whenever any good thing wants to happen in your life, that's why they program that thing into you. They begin to feed you with your homos. You begin to run like fire. If you don't sleep with, I'm not saying one man, amen, don't, Baba, Snyder, you are welcome. If you are just sleeping with just one man, it's not you. Your own three, you must knock three men before you stop. It's the wickedness of, wick, of the wicked in your life. They are using it to pollute you in order to waste your destiny, in order to stop what Jehovah is doing in your life. Whatever it is that they are programmed into your blood, I can see it. it is inside your blood. Let the blood of Jesus swallow it. Let the fire of God burn into ashes in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus swallow it. Let the fire of God burn into ashes in the name of Jesus. That's why you have not gone very far. Whenever great, good things want to happen in your life, you see yourself messing yourself up with men, even the men you have never seen before. Dirty, dirty men. Even the ones smoking in both, they will come on top, on top of you. Anything goes when that thing starts. You are looking at me right now. Make sure you send me a text immediately after the service. Three days drive fast. You need to pray. The Lord will help us. Your life is moving forward by the power in the blood of Jesus. Let us continue to pray. Hallelujah. Say, powers are signed to make me sleep. On my mountain of transfiguration. You remember James, Peter, and John? <laughs> Jesus took them to the mountain, Mount of Configuration. They slept off. Instead of them to stay awake and receive their miracle, they slept off. Powers that want me to sleep. On my mount of transfiguration. On Motai or Lewis, you are welcome. What is Mount of Transfiguration? It is the mountain of transformation where your destiny will be transformed and transfigured. The Bible says, and Jesus was transfigured. He met Moses and, Eli and Elias. They appeared before him. And there was a shining light from heaven that overshadowed him. The mount of transfiguration. Powers that want me to sleep on my mount of transfiguration. On my mount of transformation. You are a wicked power. Fall down and die. 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 In the name of Jesus. Praise. Or sass. Or mama. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. It's like sleeping on the day of your promotion. <laughs> it is like sleeping on the day of your elevation. Shout this loud and clear. Say powers. That want me to sleep. On the day of my glory. On the day of my promotion. Hear the judgment of the living God. Die by fire. 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 Ah, Peter, James, and John, they slept on the day of their glory. The Bible says they slept. Somebody said you have been sleeping on the day of your glory. Can't sleep. Ahano, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. From today, you will no longer sleep on the day of your glory. In the name of Jesus, you will no longer sleep on the day of your glory. You will no longer sleep on the day of your manifestation. You will no longer sleep on the day of your promotion. In the name of Jesus, when men are looking for you to bless you, you are busy sleeping somewhere. Ah, that will not happen again. Every witchcraft power that is making you to sleep on the day of your promotion, on the day of your blessing, on the day of your prosperity, shall fall down and die by the power in the blood of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. It reminded me of the story of a brother. He had suffered. They, they, they tortured him. Ah, that brother saw hardship. 
luckily he got a visa to travel abroad <laughs> hallelujah he got a visa a visa to travel abroad he got everything right everything was okay he got to the airport amen they say it was not time to fly yet he dozed off he woke up after the flight was in the air powers that wants me to sleep on the day of my celebration on the day of my decoration on the day of my wife's celebration on the day of my wife's de 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 decoration on the day of my children's celebration on the day of my children's decoration you are a liar die by thunder die by fire die by thunder die by fire die by thunder die by fire die by thunder for in jesus name you it's just that you don't know there are several times when blessing was looking for you but you slept off several times when you are supposed to be blessed when you are supposed to meet people that will promote your destiny, God bless you in the name of Jesus. Keep on sharing. Let us share this prayer meeting. Let everybody join. Invite 30 people. Keep on liking, keep on loving the page. Eh? The day you are supposed to meet somebody that will help your destiny, one stupid sleep now came to arrest you. But you didn't know. You didn't know. You thought I just slept. Christine, come on, God bless you. But that sleep was a terrible sleep. Because if you were outside, you would, you would have met the promoter of your destiny. Powers! That wants me to sleep on the day of my promotion. That wants my wife and my children to sleep. On the day of their promotion, you are a liar. That by fire, that by thunder, that by fire, that by thunder, that by fire, that by thunder, that by fire. Open your mouth and pray. That's why you are here. Open your mouth and pray. For in Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. We are going to pray the next one. Every satanic load on my head be consumed by fire. In the Humphrey DK OTS Otis. You are welcome in the name of the every satanic load on my head be consumed by fire in the name of the Adeniu Adeoye Okiria. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Every satanic load on my head, every witchcraft load on my head that has slowed down the journey of my destiny, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every satanic load, every witchcraft load on my head on my wife's head, on my children's head that has slowed down the speed of our destiny. Catch fire, burn to ashes, 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 catch fire, burn to ashes. For in Jesus' name we pray. Somebody is here. <laughs> Occasionally, Christine, come hanging. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Occasionally, you see yourself carrying some terrible load in your dream. You see yourself carrying some terrible load in your dream. It is a weight to weigh you down so that the, the, the speed of your destiny can be slowed down, so that the journey of your destiny can be delayed. You are going to pray like a mad prophet. Every luggage of darkness, every load of darkness on my head that has slowed down the speed of my destiny, that is delaying the journey of my destiny. Catch fire! 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 In the name of Jesus, you don't joke. Oluwatoyin angel. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. I pray for you especially. Every load of darkness that the wicked has placed on your head, that has slowed down the speed of your destiny, that is delaying the journey of your destiny, I set it on fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. I set it on fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. I set it on fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. I set it on fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. You are just joining this meeting right now. I set that load of fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. I set that load, that witchcraft load on your head that is the that has slowed down the journey of your destiny. I set it on fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. I set it on fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. I set it on fire by the power. In the blood of Jesus, 
today I increase the speed of your destiny. Every ground that you have lost, recovered by fire in the name of Jesus. Every time that you have lost, every year that you have lost, recovered by fire, 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 recovered by fire. Yes, they put evil load on your head. Later, Rachel Kunua. Whoa. God bless you in the name of Jesus. What does that mean? They will put all manner of things on you. You are busy with this. You are busy with that. You are busy with this. You are busy with that. But none of them benefit your destiny. That is evil luggage. You think they will go and carry uh, some rubbish and put it on your head? No. They will put a lot of things, heavy load, on your head. You can't move. You cannot move. You are busy attending to all the loads. Ah. Every load of darkness that the wicked has placed on your head that is not allowing you to move fast in the journey of your destiny. I set it on fire. I burn it to ashes. I set it on fire. I burn it to ashes. I set it on fire. I burn it to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody, I just bless God for your life. Because within these 70 days of fasting and prayer, <laughs> you will move with the speed of light. In the name of Jesus. Your destiny will move with the speed of light. In the name of Jesus. What you have not been able to achieve for the past 10 years, you will achieve them within these 70 days by the power in the blood of Jesus. What you have not been able to achieve within 10 years, you will achieve them within 70 days by the power in the blood of Jesus. Within these 70 days of fasting and prayers, all the things you have not been able to achieve in 10 years, in 20 years, in 30 years, you will achieve them by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Why well, I pray, every visible and invisible wall, every visible and invisible wall, amen, created by agents of darkness against my breakthroughs, break and scatter in the name of Jesus. Every visible and invisible wall of darkness, every visible and invisible walls of Jericho that agents of darkness have built, amen, have built are against my breakthrough, amen, they have built visible and invisible walls of darkness against your breakthrough. I command the thunder of God to scatter them now. Thunder of God, 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 for in Jesus' name we pray. A lot of people didn't understand what happened at the wall of Jericho. I will explain to you. It was very interesting. God speaks with the voice of thunder. God speaks with the voice of thunder. When God speaks, it thunders. That's why on Mount Sinai, when God was speaking, the Israelites were hearing the sound of thunder. What happened? They ran away. They said, Moses, just go and talk to him. We cannot talk. They ran. God was talking. Thunder. Thunder. Because he has the voice of thunder. So what did he do? He said, okay, I'm going to teach these people how to speak with the voice of thunder. So what did he do? He asked them. He said, because they talk too much. He said, don't talk at all. For seven days, you are going to go around the city. Don't say a word. On the seventh day, you will go around the city seven times. Don't say a word. At the seventh time, at the sound of the trumpet, at the sound of the dulcimer, at the sound, he said, make a loud noise. That day, men spoke with the voice of thunder. That day, what brought down the wall of Jericho was the voice of thunder. God amplified the voice of men. That day, that moment, the voice of men was like the voice of God. And when the wall had the voice, it didn't have any option but to come down. I pray for you right now. Every visible and invisible wall of darkness that agents of darkness have built, have erected against your breakthrough, against your moving forward, against your testimonies, 
Yes, they shall scatter by thunder. 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 Remember, in Psalm 18, the psalmist revealed the secret to us. When he said, By thee, O Lord, do I run through a troop? By my God, do I leap over a wall? So, which means there are some forces that build themselves as a troop, as a wall, so that you cannot pass. All the witches of your father's house, all the wizards of your father's house, that have built themselves as a wall, as a wall, invisible wall, visible wall, against your breakthrough, they shall scatter by thunder in the name of Jesus. They shall scatter by thunder in the name of Jesus. They shall scatter by thunder in the name of Jesus. They shall scatter by thunder in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us progress. <clears throat> Pray this prayer. Calendar of darkness set against my destiny. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 This particular prayer don't be tired. I want you to pray it very well. What is a calendar? Calendar is a time setter. In Ecclesiastes chapter 3 from verse 1, the Bible says there is a time and season for everything on the surface of the earth. A time to be born, a time to die. In fact, let us read this very quickly. Hallelujah. Because we are going to pray that prayer. The reason is because it is this calendar of darkness that they use in delay the timing of men and women. They will use it to delay your marriage. They use it to delay your childbearing. They use it to delay your career. The timetable of darkness. So I want listen. listen. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 from verse 1. The Bible says, To everything there is a season. Ah, I pray for somebody here. You will no longer, your season will no longer be delayed. Your time will no longer be delayed. Your season will no longer be delayed. Your time will no longer be delayed. The Bible says the Lord makes everything beautiful in his own time. He said the time to favor Zion is now. It's now. It's now. This is your time. Your time of favor by the power in the blood of Jesus. This is your time. Your time of favor by the power in the blood. So he said to everything there is a season. Ecclesiastes Chapter 3, from verse 1. To everything, there is a season. And a time to every purpose under the heaven. To every purpose in your life, there is a time. Hallelujah. To everything in your life, there is a season. Amen. A woman that cannot get pregnant... When she's ovulating, is it when she's in menopause that she will now get pregnant? You can see there is a season. There is a time for everything. There is a, there, there, there's a time for everything. There is a season for every purpose. There is a time for you to get married. There is a time for you to bear children. There is a time for you to have a career. When you are supposed to have a career at the age of 23, 25, but you are having the career at the age of 70, 80, you can see that there's a problem. We are going to pray. We are really going to pray. So invite somebody, anybody that you know are suffering delay, connect to them right now because this is their prayer. Hallelujah. He said, a time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to pluck up that which is planted. There's a time to plant seed. There is a time to go there and harvest the fruit. Hallelujah. Everything has time and season. Amen. Amen. He said, a time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn. And the time to dance. A time if you are supposed to. That's why you see somebody. Amen. They just lost their loved one. Somebody that they are very close to. Somebody that they could not do without. Instead of them to be crying, they started crying. They started crying. <laughs> what do you think? Something has gone wrong. In fact, everybody will begin to hold them. 
One day, I witnessed an accident. A car had an accident right before me. I was walking along the pedestrian, pedestrian walkway. And this vehicle somersaulted right before me. I was looking at it like this. The lady that was driving the car came out of the car and started walking. It was, she was just walking away. Everybody started shouting, don't allow her to fall down. Don't allow her to fall down. They ran after her and grabbed her. That day, I didn't know anything. I was wondering, I said, so what is the problem? If she falls down, after all, she landed on the floor before, before they say, ah, the way she's walking, if she falls down, she will, she will die. A time for everything. A season for everything. You are going to pray. Calendar of darkness. Pray this prayer. Rose gold. You are welcome. Pray this prayer very well. Calendar of darkness. Set against my destiny. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus, calendar of darkness that is set against my destiny, against my wife's destiny, against my children's destiny. Catch fire, bomb, 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 catch fire, bomb. In the name of Jesus, somebody say, I pray this prayer. Every calendar of darkness delay my marriage, delay my childbearing, delay my career. Delay my job. Delay my promotion. Catch fire! In the name of Jesus, every calendar of darkness that is delay my prosperity, delay my wife and my children's prosperity. Catch fire! Bomb! 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 In the name of you need to pray. Sometimes they have determined in the coven of darkness. They have set a calendar for your life. Say that girl, she will not get married until she's 55 years old. Meanwhile, you are 30. You are, you are working very hard. Men are coming. They carry you, they dump you. Women are coming. They, they, after some time, they run away. Why? Because in the coven of darkness, their calendar says you are getting married at age 55. Calendar of darkness. Delay my marriage. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Calendar of darkness. Delay my marriage. Delay my wife's marriage. Delay my children's marriage. Catch fire. Burn. 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 In the name of Jesus. Pray this one. Calendar of darkness. Delay my prosperity. Catch fire. Born to ashes in the name of Jesus. Calendar of darkness. Delay my greatness. Delay my prosperity. Delay my wife and my children's greatness and prosperity. Catch fire. Born. 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 For in Jesus' name, pray. This is what is affecting a lot of lives. The next prayer. I recover my life from every satanic schedule in the name of Jesus. Same thing. I recover my life. From every satanic schedule in the name of Jesus, I recover my life. I recover my wife's life. I recover my children's lives from every satanic schedule by the power in the blood of Jesus. I recover my family. I recover my home. I recover my household. I recover my job, my career, my business, my investment, my finances, my well-being. Yes, my wealth and riches from every satanic schedule in the name of Jesus. Now pray this one. Every satanic schedule. Affecting my life, scattered by fire in the name of Jesus. Every satanic schedule, every witchcraft schedule, uh, affecting my life, affecting my wife's life, affecting my children's life, scatter, 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 scatter by fire. For in Jesus' name we pray. You can see operations of darkness where they have scheduled. You will get married at age 55. You will not have a child until you are 60. Some people at age 65. They will now have triplets. And they have been looking for that child from age 25. 30 years away. About 40 years later. Eh? They, have been tri they have triplets at age 65. But they have been married from age 25. Every schedule of darkness. I pray for somebody here. That is affecting your childbearing. 
I command it to burn to ashes by the power in the blood of Jesus. I command it to burn to ashes by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every schedule of darkness affecting your childbearing, burn to ashes, 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 burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus. They say it will not become rich until it's about 70. Every schedule of darkness affecting your wealth and your riches, I set it on fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. I set it on fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. The next prayer, powers assigned to slaughter my greatness be slaughtered in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to slaughter my greatness, my wife's greatness, my children's greatness, the greatness of my family be slaughtered by fire, be slaughtered by fire, be slaughtered by fire, be slaughtered by fire. fire. In the name of Jesus, your greatness will not be slaughtered. In the name of Jesus. The next one. Powers assigned to liquidate my timetable of breakthroughs. Be liquidated. In the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to liquidate my timetable of breakthroughs. My wife and my children's timetable of breakthroughs. Be liquidated liquidated by fire. In the name of Jesus. Be liquidated by fire. In the name of Jesus. Be liquidated by fire. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. The next prayer. Every prison situation in my life be converted to power situation. Just like Joseph. Every prison situation in my life, in my wife's life, in my children's lives, be converted to power situation. In the name of Jesus. And then you do, and then you can God bless you in the name of Jesus. Every prison situation in my life, in my wife's life, in my children's lives today be converted to power situation in the name of Jesus. Be converted to power situation in the name of Jesus. Be converted to power situation in the name of somebody say, I pray for you. Every prison situation in your life shall be converted to power situation in the name of Jesus. Every prison situation in your life shall be converted to power situation in the mighty name of Jesus. The last prayer today. In this prayer meeting. Amen. Or the last prayer in the 70 days fasting and prayer booklet. You can see the prophecies. It has been the hour of power. The hour of prophecy. How will your life not move forward? When your destiny is receiving this kind of prayers. How will your life not move forward? When your destiny is receiving this kind of prophecies, ah, your life shall move forward by fire. In the name of Jesus. Any agent of darkness that shall stand in your way from today shall perish by fire. They shall be roasted by thunder. In the mighty name of Jesus. Power of error. Killing good things in my family. Die! In the name of Jesus. Power of error. Killing good things in my family. Killing good things in my wife's family. Killing good things in my children's families. That by fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. Power of error. Killing good things in my life. Killing good things in my wife's life. Killing good things in my children's lives. That by fire. That by thunder. That by fire. That by thunder. That by fire. That by thunder. For in Jesus' name we pray. We give glory to God. We have finished today's fasting and prayer prayer points. I thank God for your life. You have prayed. Some of you have sweated. You have cried. And I know that Jehovah has heard your cry. But listen to me. Jesus said, I know my sheep. My sheep know me. I hear their voice. And they hear my voice. Your voice can only be heard in heaven. No matter how loud you cry. When Jesus is in your life. Because it is really not your voice that they are going to hear. It is the voice of Jesus in your life. Because the Bible says that he is seated at the right hand of the Father interceding for us. The Bible says, for we have an advocate in Christ Jesus, who is seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us. If you want your voice to be heard in heaven, 
if you want the Lord to hear your cry, you need to speak with the voice of Jesus. And how can you speak with the voice of Jesus? By accepting Jesus into your life. Hallelujah. By carrying Jesus in your being. Hallelujah. So you need to surrender your life to Christ. How do you surrender your life to Christ? To abandon the things of the world and embrace the things of God. Meaning that you abandon the world, you embrace the word. You abandon the world, you embrace the word. John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. In verse 17, in, sorry, in verse 14, John 1, 14. He said, and the word became flesh and dwell amongst us. You see, the only word that heaven can hear is the word of God. And what is the word of God? It is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So you see, when Jesus is residing in your life by way of your acceptance of Jesus into your life, whenever, ever Lamar, God bless you, Whenever you are speaking, heaven will hear the voice of Jesus. Why? Because the voice that you are speaking are no longer your voice. They are the voice of Jesus. Hallelujah. Mariba Sakatari Baba. He said, I died with Jesus. Even though I live, the life I live is no longer I, but I live through Christ, the, the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. So you see, your life is hid in Christ. Your voice is hid or in the voice of Christ. When you are speaking, the voice of Jesus travels to heaven to speak on your behalf. So you see, the prayers are fantastic. They are ocean dividing prayers. They are miracle, they are miracle manifesting prayers. They are testimony giving prayers. But if you don't have Jesus in your life, all this prayer will just be like an ordinary noise in the ears of God. Hallelujah. That is why he said, without Christ, amen. You know, he said, I will hear the cry of the righteous. He said, the prayer of the wicked shall be an abomination unto me. I will hear the cry of the righteous. But the prayer of the wicked shall be an abomination unto me. When you don't have Christ, heaven consider you as being wicked. Hallelujah. The being of Satan. Being of the world. That is the category that heaven has placed you. So you see, he said, how can they hear the cry of the righteous? When the Bible says, the eyes of God are too pure, they cannot behold iniquity. What happened to Jesus on the cross? When Jesus died on the cross and he took the sin of the whole world upon him, the Lord looked away from him. That was why he said, My father, my father, why hast thou forsaken me? Hallelujah. Jesus, the Son of God, the Spirit of God in flesh, God on earth, on the cross, at a particular moment, God forsook him. My father, my father, why hast thou forsaken me? That is what Jesus said on the cross. Why will God forsake Jesus at that moment? Because at that time, the sin of the world came upon Jesus. You see, when you are a sinner and you are carrying sin, that is the same way that God is going to forsake you. God does not forsake sinners. He forsakes sin. But as long as you are carrying sin, sin in your life, you are forsaken. Because he will not hear the prayer of the wicked. He will only hear the cry of the righteous. That's why we tell them, and say, mountain of fire, they only shout, fall down and die, fall down and die. Am I not preaching the word of God to you right now? The unadulterated word of God? Because we know in deliverance ministry that without the word of God, the prayers are mere noises that are not going to go anywhere. Jesus said, the word that I speak 
unto you. For me, Lord, Lord, in the summit, God bless you in the name of Jesus. He said, the word that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So you see, you need that word, the word of spirit, the word of life to dwell in the inside of you before your prayers can be fervent, before your prayer, prayers can be effective, before your prayers can avail. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. Are you here and you have not given your life to Christ? You have the opportunity to do so right now. I want you to lay your right hand on your chest and say, Lord Jesus, Son of the living God, I've heard all what you have said. I know that without you in my life, I cannot get anywhere. Even my prayers will be mere noises. Say, Lord Jesus, Son of the living God, I accept you today as my Lord and my Savior. I believe very strongly that you went on the cross to die for me, to shed your blood in order to wash away my sins. Lord Jesus, now that I have accepted you as my Lord and my Savior, let your blood wash away my sins, all the sins that wicked powers are using to sabotage my destiny. Let the blood of Jesus wash them away right now in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, I reject every other God. I accept you, you and you alone, the Son of the living God, the Anointed One, the Messiah, as my Lord and my Savior. Amen. And I pray for you that the Lord Jesus will accept you, that he will write your name in the book of life. He will remove your name from the book of death in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will become your Lord, your Master, and your Savior in the name of Jesus. And by the power of his Holy Spirit, he will guide and guard, lead, and direct your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Your life will no longer end in destruction. Your life will no longer end in hellfire. In the name of Jesus, now that you have given your life to Christ, you need to take another step of living a holy and a righteous life. It's very, very important to your new life in Christ. Hallelujah. You, can, you have what sin can do to a man or a woman in the sight of God. You need to live a holy life. You need to live a righteous life. What is a holy life? Is doing everything, amen, that God has asked you to do. And stop doing anything or everything that God says you should not do. And how do you know that? Read your Bible. Joshua 1, 8. He said, this book of the Lord shall not depart from your mouth. For you will, med uh, the, uh, you will meditate on it day and night. And you will observe to do that which is written thereof. And when you do that, he said, you, your ways will be prosperous and you will have a good success. Read the word of God. A workman that is not ashamed. Amen. Dividing the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Show, study yourself and study to show yourself approved. Hallelujah. Study the word of God. You will know God through the word of God. You will know what God wants you to do. You will know what God does not want you to do. The reason why you are heir, the Bible says they heir, for they do not know the scripture. Hallelujah. Try to know the scripture. Try to know the word of God. If you are the very lazy type that cannot read the written one, get yourself an audio Bible. Amen. Play it and let it, let it talk into your ears. Let it talk into your spirit. By that, whether you are reading it or you are hearing it, the Bible says faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. You need the word of God, the power in the word of God to back up your deliverance prayers so that you can have great and mighty deliverance, so that you can have great and mighty breakthrough, so that you can have great and mighty testimonies. And the Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Do not forsake gatherings like this where the truth is being told, where you are hearing the unadulterated word of God. Hallelujah. Not where all that they are interested is the money you are able to give them. Hallelujah. No. Praise the Lord. What is most important is the establishment of your soul. The establishment of your destiny. Your, your soul making eternity with the Lord Jesus Christ. That is the most important thing. Hallelujah. The Lord will help us 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Why don't you begin to thank God for all that he has done for you in today's prayer meeting again. He has done it again. Our God has done it again. He has touched our lives because we cried to him. He has answered our prayers. Oh, look at testimonies coming already. Uncommon testimonies. Uncommon breakthroughs. Some people are calling me up and they are telling me what God is already doing in their lives. And they are just one week and it has just started. I know that is God for you. Hallelujah. When it comes for you, it will fix everything in your life. Our God is an awesome God. He's a powerful God. There's nothing he cannot do. All you just need is to surrender yourself to him. He says, submit yourself to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. That is all you need to do. Just surrender to God. Leave worldliness. All those parties, all those, it will not take you anywhere. It will only destroy you. It will only empower the wicked against you. Embrace God. Make the presence of God your, your dwelling. Make the house of God your, your new accommodation. Hallelujah. And the Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Everlasting Father, we just thank you. We thank you for this wonderful meeting. It's as if it should not finish. But we thank you, Daddy. We know we are coming again tomorrow. And we know we will meet you on this platform again. And we know you will better our lives. You will transform our lives. You will give us great and mighty testimonies. You will give us even great revelations that we know nothing about. Blessed be your holy name. Everyone that has participated in this prayer meeting today shall become very great by the power in the blood of Jesus. Shall become very prosperous by the power in the blood. And the Lord will fight every power that is fighting us. The Lord will bury every power that wants to bury us in the mighty name of Jesus. It shall be well with you. It shall be well with me. It shall be well with your family. It shall be well with my family. By the power in the blood of Jesus. I will hear good news from you. You will hear good news from me. I will hear your testimony. You will hear my testimony by the power in the blood of Jesus. Let's go ahead and thank God for Mountain of Fire Miracles Ministries, Tampa, Florida. Father, we thank you for your church, Mountain of Fire Miracles Ministries, Tampa, Florida, that you are using to bless us, that you are using to water us. Father, bless the church. Father, water the church in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, continue to increase this church physically and spiritually, even financially, by your mighty power. In the name of Jesus, Father, we want to buy a brand new building for the church. Father, do it for us by your miraculous power. In the mighty name of Jesus, the building that you have built, the building that you have chosen, Father, Lord God in heaven, let us locate that building. Father, use somebody to connect us to that building. In the name of Jesus, uh, Solomon, built a temple for you. Father, build a temple for yourself in Tampa. In the mighty name of Jesus. And let your name be glorified, even in that temple. In the name of Jesus. Everlasting Father, every power waging war against Mountain of Fire, Miracles, Ministries, Tampa, Florida, let them perish by fire. Let them lose their powers. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let MFM, Tampa, Florida, continue to flourish, continue to blossom. In the mighty name of Jesus. Continue to grow like a wildfire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we are missing our monthly deliverance, three days drive fast, every month deliverance. Everybody has been calling, Pastor, when are we going back to church for our monthly deliverance? Father, make it happen again by your mighty power in the mighty name of Jesus. Continue to make MFM Tampa, Florida, your citadel of power, your citadel of deliverance, your citadel of prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. And everyone that comes to MFM Tampa, Florida, whether in person or online, Father, breathe upon them in the name of Jesus. Father, give them life, life in Christ Jesus. Father, give them wealth and riches. Father, promote them by your mighty power in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we just thank you for the church. You will build the church. You will build MFM, Tampa, Florida, and the gates of hell, the gates of territorial powers, environmental powers, land and spirits shall not prevail against it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everyone that comes to MFM Tampa, Florida will have a raw encounter with God. In the mighty name of Jesus. And they shall be prepared for eternity. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's go ahead and thank God for our Father in the Lord. Dr. Daniel Kola Wale Ulukoya. Mami Shade Ulukoya. Phoenix. Phoenix Integrated. God bless you in the name of Jesus. 
Let's thank God for destiny. Jesus, God bless you. Let's thank God for Dr. Daniel Kolawale Lukoya, the general of our of Mountain of Fire Miracles Ministries worldwide. We soak him in the blood of Jesus. We soak his wife in the blood of Jesus. We soak the children in the blood of Jesus. He shall be well with them in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus will fight for them in the name of Jesus. All their enemies shall scatter in the name of Jesus. The Lord will arise on behalf of Dr. Lukoya and his family and all his enemies. All his wife's enemies, all his children's enemies shall scatter by the power in the blood of the Bible says, let God arise and let all his enemies scatter. Let all them that hate him, Father Lord, be like walks even before fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them be like chaff even before the wind in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All the haters of Dr. Lukoya, they will be like walks before fire in the mighty name of Titi Lion. Florence, Odnoaye, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. All those that hate Dr. Lukoya, all those that hate his wife, all those that hate his ministry, or that hate his children, that hate his ministry, because of what God is using him to do. Father, let them be like chaff before the wind, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them be like walks before fire, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, my God, let them scatter unto desolation. By your mighty power. Let them be forgotten forever. Let their names be forgotten by your mighty power. Every power, every spirit, every personality that has risen against Dr. Daniel Kola Lukoya, that has risen against his wife and children, my Father, my God, let their names be forgotten forever. Let their names be wiped off history by the power in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Malabushi kaliba kulia, raina sakata buri kaniha, liba kusi kalipuri baba kasiketeliba, romana skanda ulahulia. All those that are challenging your son, challenging his family, my father, my God, instead of praying for them, they are challenging them. Let them be forgotten forever by the power in the blood of Jesus. Father, I thank you because Dr. Lukoya will continue to work stronger. The, his anointing will continue to increase. The anointing of Mommy Lukoya will continue to increase. The fire of God in their lives, in the lives of their children, even their children's children, will continue to increase. In the mighty name of Jesus, every wicked tongue, Mami Bewa, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. Every wicked tongue speaking against Dr. Lukoya, speaking against Mommy Shadi Lukoya, speaking against their children shall catch fire and burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, the tongue speaking against them. And they will poison themselves by the power in the blood of Jesus. The, the same tongue will put the owners in trouble by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every tongue of darkness that is speaking against Dr. Lukoya, that is speaking against Mommy Lukoya, that is speaking against Child Lukoya or Judah Lukoya, and they will put themselves in trouble by the power in the blood of The same tongue will put them in trouble by the power in the blood of Jesus. Father, we thank you because you are a wonderful and a powerful God in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's go ahead and thank God for our land. Let's thank God. Let's say, blood of Jesus overshadow our land in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says we overcame the enemy by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of our testimonies. And we love not our lives even unto the Say, blood of Jesus overshadow our land in the name of Jesus. Every evil, every wickedness that is going on in our land, blood of Jesus swallow them now. In the name of Jesus, blood of atonement, blood that was shed for the for the propitiation of our sins. Swallow every wickedness in our land. Swallow every evil in our land. All the wicked personalities in our land. Blood of Jesus, swallow them. Holy Ghost fire, swallow them. In the name of Jesus, all those that want to shed innocent blood, all those that want to shed that, that want to eat flesh, that want to shed innocent blood. Blood of the Holy Ghost fire, destroy them. In the name of Jesus. The same way Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed. Father, destroy them by your mighty power. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, anyone that, is, that wants to cause trouble in our land, like the wife of Lot, let them become pillar of salt. In the mighty name of Jesus. Any man, any woman, yes, that wants to cause war in our land, that wants to cause trouble in our land, so that the innocents will lose their lives. Father, let them become pillar of salt by the power in the blood of Jesus. Let them become pillars of salt by the power in the blood of Jesus. Let them be buried alive by the power in the blood of Jesus. There shall be no war in this land. America is voting. They've started voting already. Official voting day is 3rd of November 2020. 
every calendar of darkness assigned against that day will set it on fire in the name of Jesus. Every storm of darkness that is gathering against November 3rd, 2020 will, will scatter it by the power in the blood of Jesus. Evil will not manifest that day by the power in the blood of Jesus. Evil shall die on that day. Before that day, during that day, after that day, evil is dead by the power. Evil doers are dead by the power in the blood of Jesus. And anyone that is planning any evil, the blood of Jesus will continue to expose them and disgrace them one by one in the mighty name of Jesus. There shall be no war in our lands. We pray for all our presidents, all our leaders, all our prime ministers, all our kings, all our queens, all our chiefs, or whatever, wherever they, whatever they may be, whatever title they may carry. Father, let the blood of Jesus overshadow them. Let them become born again. Let the Spirit of God arrest their hearts in the name of Jesus. I pray especially for President Donald Trump in America. Spirit of the living God, fall upon him. Holy Ghost fire, overshadow him. The presence of God, overshadow him. Let President Trump become born again in the name of Jesus. Let the Spirit of the living God enter into his life in the mighty name of Jesus. He will not die. He will live to declare the works of the living God. His wife, Melina, will not die. She will live to declare the works of the His children will not die. They will not be afflicted in the name of Jesus. I know some of some, some people hate him. Yes, I know. But the Bible says we should pray for our leaders. So we are praying for President Trump. Uh, he has coronavirus right now. The power of God will heal him, heal his wife, heal his family in the name of Jesus. Yes. But I now pray that the will of God will be done in his life. In the name of Jesus. Any power anywhere that is trying to manipulate him, amen, shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus. President Trump will follow the will of God. Uh, Vice President Biden will follow the will of God in the name of Jesus. And out of the two of them, it is the will of God that shall be established in, the, in America by the power in the blood of Jesus. Yes, it is the will of God that will be established in America by the power in the blood of Jesus. Father, we just thank you for everything. Go and minister to these leaders personally, O Lord, so that the innocent does not suffer in the mighty name of Jesus. And they can be, God bless you in the name of Jesus. Yes, we pray that all these our leaders, the Lord will touch them with his finger of fire. And every one of them shall become born again in the name of Jesus. They will personally know Jesus. Jesus will enter into their lives. And they will lead our nations aright. They will not lead our nations into trouble. They will not lead our nations into problems. They will not lead our nations into war in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, there shall be peace and tranquility in our land by the power in the blood of Jesus. Father, we thank you for everything. For in Jesus' name we pray. Even the COVID, they said the spy came all over the world. Lord, have mercy. Let the blood of Jesus paralyze the power behind this COVID-19 in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the wild wind of God sweep it back into the abyss in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We shall not be infected. Members of our family shall not be infected in the mighty name of Jesus. The glory of the living God shall overshadow all our lives. The Lord will keep us healthy. The Lord will keep us strong in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for everyone here. Coronavirus will not bring you down. In fact, no sickness will bring you down. No sickness will bring me down. No sickness will bring down any member of our families in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' name we pray. Let us begin to, uh, let us just share the grace now. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 In Jesus, the seven powerful hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you so much for joining this prayer meeting. We'll meet again 12 noon, Florida time, tomorrow, by the special grace of God. Please, Continue to like the page, continue to love the page, continue to share this video, continue to do watch party 
with this video. A lot of prayers and prophecies have been released in this video. Let others too benefit. And God bless you, even as you do so. In the mighty name of Jesus. Remember the, so, uh, the social distancing rules. Continue to wear a mask if you have to go out of your house. Wash your hands, sanitize yourself. Keep six feet distance from anyone that is not an immediate member of your family. And the Lord will continue to protect us all in the name of Jesus. The Lord will continue to be a wall of fire around us and around every member of our family. We will not lose anyone in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. See you again tomorrow, 12 noon. Make sure you invite somebody today. Tell people, send this video to them. And please, go to our YouTube channel, MFM Tampa, Florida. Subscribe, share videos from there too, even to your friends and well-wishers. God bless you in the name of Jesus. God bless you. See you tomorrow by the special grace of God.